Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Working again on the true spirit. I've got these leaf spring shackle bushings that go into the frame here. I need to get these out. They're in terrible shape. And if we're going to clean this up and put everything new, we might as well put new ones in. Question is, how do you get those out? If you look at this one closely, you'll see we've got this rubber bushing here. Then there's this shell, and it goes into a tube, so you can't just pull the rubber out. This shell has to come out, and it's flanged, so it comes out of the hole and then over. So you can't push it in. It has to be pulled out. If you look at it from the inside, you've got the same thing, though, right? So we've got this flange and then this uh, center piece that goes through. So really, we've got a flange that comes in from each side. So it's actually split in the middle. There are two bushings that come in from each side, so they have to be pulled out or driven out, but from the inside, not from the out. You can't just smack on this and push it all the way through. You can probably on this uh, center piece, but the problem there is it's mounted in rubber, and every time you hit it, it's just going to want to bounce back, so it's going to absorb all of that. So we've got to get that driven out from the inside. One way I've seen it done, and I've done it on control arms before, is you just heat this thing up with a torch and melt all that rubber out. It's a really smelly, uh, smoky mess. I'm going to try to avoid it on this one. If you look down inside there, you can see where the split is. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to take a punch, get on the inside of this, and drive it out from this side. Now that I have the middle out, we need to remove the rubber. So that removed the rubber from the outside. You can see we still have one on the inside that has to come out. This side is just tearing, so it's pr the rubber is probably stuck to that outer shell. So I'm going to use a screwdriver to see if we can get in underneath of it. In some cases, this centerpiece is one solid piece of metal all the way through the bushing. And so you can't drive it out when you try to hit it. The rubber from the bushing just basically absorbs all the impact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use something to cut the rubber around here so that I can get a hold of it. Alright, this thing doesn't want to come out. I'm going to try maybe the air hammer, and if that doesn't work, then uh, we'll go with the torch. There we go. Nothing a little flame can't cure. And there we go. That one's out. It was a little harder, but it still came out basically the same way. Before you drive these shells out, keep in mind if you buy like poly bushings, they don't come with these shells. You have to reuse these. And in fact, I think the rubber ones, they come as a separate piece. So if these are in good shape, which these ones are, you can just leave them in. In this case, that's what I'm going to do here. These are in perfectly good shape. I'll just re-sleeve them with polyurethane and then drive in a new centerpiece. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.